I knew it looked a lot like Hogwarts, and that was very enticing for me. Um, they had a really good swimming um, program that was running. Uh, it was in the middle of nowhere. I had no clue what Devon was, where Plymouth was, no clue. Um, what else? Very natureful, that's a word. It was surrounded by nature, which was very nice, because you don't see that nowadays, living around cities. The, one of the main advantages when I came here was the amount of friends I made from a very diverse background, because most of my friends from Hong Kong, Russia, you know, these countries which I've never heard of, like Georgia and um, Armenia, which I didn't know was a country. And I believe all of these people I've met will be great connections in the future. Especially when you're boarding, you kind of learn to make lifelong friends. And I think that's definitely one of the perks. Because if you're a person who, um, is a, who's very outgoing and likes to talk to people and likes to have that communication with others, I would say this place is amazing and for boarding it's absolutely at, at its peak. Um, I did do DOV Gold, which was very challenging, pushed me out of my comfort zone. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I did enjoy attempting DW. I think that was probably, even though I didn't finish it, I think it was more of a prouder achievement because of how hard it was compared to DOV. But there was some point where Mount Kelly made me realise it's fine to accept that you can't do something and it's okay. And I think going through that challenging process and learning stuff throughout the way and knowing that, you know, just accepting it sometimes is way more better than forcing myself to do something. But I've met so many new people, so many outstanding people which I probably would not have met otherwise. Uh, Mount Kelly has an amazing volunteering program. And even working at a charity shop, you know, these simple things that just collect and become the bigger picture and it's like a puzzle that kind of solves itself. And now, you know, if you're coming here all the way from London, what is it, seven hours, five hours? Don't just come here, do A-levels and just leave. That's one thing you don't want to do. You could just go to any school and do that. You want to try do something that you would not have done otherwise. You know, like, just go, go crazy, go learn an instrument, you know? Go write some essays, I don't know what you like. Just do something that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise because these opportunities, I would say, are rare to come by. And just take everything. Um, I think what you guys are doing is a really good, good thing. Um, in the future, I can hopefully find my way into doing medicine because I know it's really hard and I know I'm not there yet and I've accepted that, but I want to see if I can do more things to reach there. And if not, there's always other degrees available to me and the teachers here are super helpful. So they're always there for you. And, you know, if I did want to do other things, I know that the teachers here definitely have time for me and I can talk to them about anything, so.